So this is a, a burn wound bed. It looks a little old and dirty, so we're gonna clean it up first with irrigation and debridement because we need fresh, healthy tissue to receive the graft. We choose a donor site, in this case the thigh, take our skin, place it into the wound bed that's been prepared, uh, uh, apply sutures to hold it in place, and then a nice occlusive dressing to keep a moist barrier while the healing occurs. Once that heals, does it ever look normal? In the case of Mrs. Ford, who has 22% partial thickness burns, um, she will most likely need split thickness skin grafts, which can heal with a cobblestone appearance. Doctor, thank you so much. You are released. We appreciate it. Thank you, Judge. Ms. Ford, I can see that Dr. Cavalli's testimony has made you very emotional. That's not lost on this court. What's going through your mind right now? I just, just the idea of having, having to live like this is not, I don't, I don't have anything to look forward to. It's just, I just, Mr. and Mrs. Robinson, you can see from the testimony of Dr. Cavalli, these are very, very serious and permanent injuries. This is bad. But you still say this is not your fault? Well, Your Honor, she was the one that had this idea. And she did the research. This is on her. She did I the did. research. Ms. Ford, this did you send them this the recipe? I sent, I sent them the recipe. But... I didn't read the recipe because I knew I wasn't going to be the one frying the turkey. Folks, to further understand the proper way to fry a turkey, this court has consulted Food Network personality and celebrity chef Tregay Fraser. Sheriff Matt, will you get Chef Fraser in? Okay. Chef, what's the biggest mistake that people make when they're trying to fry a turkey? Look, Your Honor, you need to make sure that the turkey is 100% thawed out, like through and through. And actually, I have a video to show you guys what happens when you put a frozen turkey into the turkey fryer. Let's take a look at it. Look. Explosion! Explosion! It's gonna set your house on fire. That's it's... from a frozen turkey and grease? Yes! Turk water and oil do not mix. They do not mix. Like, that's the worst ever. Like, you don't want to have water, any ice in your turkey. What's the craze about fried turkey? Oh, my goodness. First of all, fried turkey is amazing. It's the juiciest turkey you'll ever want to have. Thank you, Chef. We thank appreciate you. you. You're released. All right, thank you. Did y'all know that she had never fried a turkey before? I, I was unaware of unaware. it. But I assumed that she wanted to that she had just learn because from she, me. I mean, she knew. She did it. She knew I she did it many, many it. times before. And, and Your Honor, if I may, it didn't, it doesn't say anything about a can on, on that recipe. It doesn't say put, to put a can on top to push it down in oil. It doesn't, there's nothing like that on, on that recipe that I sent. Mr. Robinson, are you a cook? I mean, wouldn't you know about this? I would know about it, Your Honor. And my assumption was that she wanted to be part of the frying experience. She's the one, like, like we said, She's the one that really wanted a fried turkey for this event. If Bob had not gotten that phone call, he would have been the one to immerse that turkey in that oil, and I would still have been standing there. He got called away to take a phone call, and that's why I, by default, was the one who put the turkey in the fryer. Had, I, had he not gotten a call, he would have been the man. Is that, would, that be, would that be accurate? But had you used an empty can, y'all would have just had fried turkey. <laughs> Folks, I think I've heard what I need to hear and I'm ready to render my decision. 